Hi, Nancy here. How important do you think a book description is? Well, very, very important. You know, when somebody is thinking about buying a book, they read the book description, and what they most want to know is what's in it for me. How am I going to benefit? How is this valuable to me? And they want to know specifics of how it's going to benefit me. So if you tell me that I'm going to learn how to get more email subscribers, that's great. That is a benefit. But if you tell me that if I learned the technique your book teaches, I'm going to increase my email signups by 250%, yours is the book I'm going to buy. You know, when you're writing a description, put yourself in the shoes of your readers. What are you really going to teach them in a very detailed fashion? So it, you know, I don't, I'm not a golfer, so I'm making this up. But let's say that, that I could say, learn to improve your golf swing. Or I could say, learn how to just learn how to improve your golf swing on a really windy day or something relative to golf. Something that's very specific, that somebody has a problem, they're looking for a book to solve their problem. Make sure your description involve, uh, includes the uh, solution to that problem. Now when you're writing a book description, make sure that you use headlines and subheads and bullets because people skim. If you look at how you read on the internet, you'll see that you skim and your eye automatically goes to headlines, it goes to bullet points, it does not read word for word all of the text. Now, there is a tool that you can buy, it's $27, you don't have to buy this, you can write the book description any, you know, without any tool. When you upload a book to Kindle, within your dashboard, you, you have space to go, to go in and write the description for your book. What Better Book Tools does is it gives you the ability to add color to the headlines and easily create head, headers and subheads, and then it just generates the code that you paste directly into the book description module back on your Kindle dashboard. Again, this is absolutely not necessary. I just wanted to put it in here in case somebody wanted to know, okay, how do I do that? And here's, a, here's an example from one of my books. As you can see, I've used the Better Books tool to color my headlines with the same orange that Amazon uses in their, um, in their headlines. So um, betterbooktools.com, you don't need it, but spend some time working on this description. You know, this isn't something that you're just gonna throw off the top of your head. This is your sales pitch. This is the one thing that you can put out there that help people decide whether or not to buy your book. So take some time with it and let's move on to the next lesson. We're getting down to the end of the book writing side hustle.